welcome back to Sewell Garage. Today is the big day. We're gonna get some paint on the Chevelle today. It's been a lot of work, prepping and block sanding, and I've been doing a lot of cleaning now, cleaning the shop, making sure we're dust free. Um, still gotta wipe off and wax and grease remove and tack rag and mix paint, but uh, we're gonna get some paint on here today. So I'm doing a wipe down with these Devilbus wipeouts, um, alcohol-based um, wipeouts, lint-free. I've used them before. I think they work pretty good. I actually go over the car a couple times, making sure that there's no residue left. So I'm just finishing that up right now. Got everything wiped down. Now I'm gonna tack rag everything. And I always like to wet the floor down as well, just to contain any dust that might come up. Because uh, I'm painting in my shop. I have an inflatable paint booth, but not big enough for the car. So we're painting it in here, in my shop today. Decent ventilation, decent lighting. Three coats of base coat. Just finished applying the last coat. Still flashing. But just wanted to show you a quick pick. Love the color. All right. Get some clear on this car. Sure gets foggy when you shoot the clear. First coat of clear coat. I will apply three to four coats of clear. So we're gonna let this flash and we'll hit it again. Well, I decided to Three coats is enough. After looking at the specs on the manufacturer's website, uh, they recommend three coats, three medium to heavy wet coats, and that's what I put on, so I'm gonna call it good. I'm pretty happy with it. It's uh, ready for some color sanding, which says to let this cure for about 24 hours before you touch it so Chevelle's painted <laughs> super excited I uh, really Good morning and welcome to Sewell garage today we're gonna cut and buff and uh, I always hate sanding on this freshly sprayed clear coat but um, it's kind of hard to tell from the camera view, but there are some little dust nibs here and there, and uh, I've actually started the sanding process already. So let's um, get this car cut, buffed, and put back together. As you can see, what we're trying to do is remove any orange peel or dirt nibs that get in the clear coat. Um, so you can kind of see the difference. Uh, it's been sanded with 1500. And uh, I'm gonna go over everything now with 3000. Just working on the roof right now. But uh, got it denibbed. 
and I'm gonna move on now with 3,000, then 8,000, then polish it. I won't bore you with all the details. In my last video, I demonstrated this 3M Perfect It one step finishing process. Uh, and we started out with a 1500 3M Trizac on a DA sander with an interface pad, foam pad in there. I uh, went over that about four times, then denibbed by hand. Uh, any little dirt specks that possibly got into the clear coat. Uh, now I'm going to go over it with the 3000 wet Trizac paper, then uh, finish it up with an 8000, and then uh, we're going to hit it with the purple finishing pad and the one step material, and should be polished up pretty nice. Um, I did this on my doors and my trunk and my hood, and I Thought it was a pretty easy process and liked it a lot. So we're gonna finish up the car doing the same thing. Wet the pad. Miss the top. Don't wanna get it too wet. Throw water everywhere. Let the paper do its job. Now I'll wipe off all the uh, white slurry and inspect my work, make sure it's uh, ready for polishing, um, or if I have to go over it with the 8000 again, I, I may do that, but um, a lot of you probably don't know this about me, but I'm from Louisville, Colorado, and as you know, we had a big scare a couple weeks ago, and the Marshall Fire came through, completely random weird ordeal um i feel horrible for all the people that lost their homes um we were one of the lucky ones a fire got about three blocks from our house and i was freaking out pretty much uh about my chevelle <laughs> um but my family was more important yeah uh, we were forced to evacuate and i wanted so badly just to get this out of the shop in case the house burned down but um, what can you do when uh, they tell you evacuate now? Um, winds were pushing our way and uh, they didn't quite make it to us. They made it up to Harper Lake and the embers and ashes did not cross the lake and we are on the north side of the lake so we survived. Um, and I'm pretty happy about that um, but pretty sad about the people who didn't uh, make it and lost a lot of their homes and valuables. Anyway, um, gonna finish this up and see how it looks. And put the polishing pad to it. Would have been easier if I just put a vinyl top on this thing.
spray on you're clear and I don't know if you can see these little nibs in there that's uh, kind of why we do the cut and buff but it's a lot of work and um, it's not gonna be a show car it's just gonna be a you know, hopefully a good-looking Chevelle that I love to drive thanks again for tuning in to Soul Garage and subscribe and like the channel if you want to. Um, I'd appreciate it. Um, as you can see, I've made major progress. Wanted to share my final paint job with you. There's still lots to do. Lots of reassembly and weather stripping and interior and glass and grill and bumpers and, well, it's a long list. So we'll continue to do a few reassembly videos, but uh, just wanted to Walk around and show you the finished product. Engine bay is a little dusty. We've got a little bit of cleanup still to do there. Um, I'm pretty happy with the paint job. So stay tuned and uh, thanks again for watching.